I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hole Barbecue, and today's recipe is for pumpkin spice muffins. But I'll be making muffins. Well, that's what I'm going to call them anyway. They are a delicious holiday treat. Okay, you got to ask yourself if you have just one ingredient, is that really a recipe or is that just cooking something? Now, if you got two ingredients, well, that's different. That's the world's shortest recipe, and that's what we got today. So we're using one can of Libby's 100% pure pumpkin and one box of spice cake mix. Okay, I know that that cake mix got multiple ingredients in it. This might be considered cheating, but that's what we're gonna do. So to me, if you add in one box of this and one can of that, well, that's two ingredients. But Paul Daddy, I can't find any spice cake mix. What can I do, you may ask? Just use a box of yellow cake mix. Now, if you got it, you want to add in one and three quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon ground ginger, and a quarter teaspoon each of ground nutmeg and ground cloves. Now, let's get started on our recipe. It's about time. Gather up all your ingredients. Yes, both of them. And then you want to put them in a mixing bowl, and I'm going to be mixing them up by hand. But you have to be real careful when you mix it by hand because if you don't give it a good thorough mix, you're going to have some crunchy spots in there from that cake mix. When you get through, it's going to kind of look like peanut butter. Now let's spray your muffin pan with cooking spray. Is the cooking spray a third ingredient? Uh, not to me. Now spoon some cookie dough right into your muffin pan. This will need to go into a preheated oven that you have set at 350 degrees. We're going to leave it in there for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll be using my propane grill as an oven. Now that they're done, I'm gonna cheat a little bit more. I'm gonna add in some homemade cream cheese icing right there on top, and then I wanna sprinkle on some mini chocolate chips. These are delicious with or without the toppings. These things are so good, they're even approved by Santa. Now Santa wants you to know that all the good little boys and girls, they're the ones that hit that like button because they consider subscribing and they always come back next time to Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Now don't disappoint Santa. I wouldn't take any chances. It's just not worth it. <laughs>